What's going on, guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today, we're going to be talking about marriage. Sometimes women, y'all take it too far. Let's get to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, baby. And donate if you can. I, I know it's loud. I apologize. Matter of fact, let me turn it down for you guys. The music's not that important. Cook dinner, yawn a lot, take 27 calming breaths, negotiate with the toddler, console said toddler. Proceed to cook with one hand. You could put the kid down. Ruin dinner. Consider running away. Consider, oh, sorry, laugh instead of cry. I don't know. So, can somebody tell me what the purpose of this video was? Forty-four. We can do that later. I don't tend to do. This isn't my show. I'm actually doing a show. So, uh, -uh. but let's uh, let's uh, let's talk about it. She says that she has a toddler. Let's see all the stuff that she named again. Cause she named so dang much, right? And that's loud as. Let's let's go over each one. Cook dinner, yawn a lot. What 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 is that? Cook dinner, yawn a lot. What is that? You're tired? Okay, taking 27 calming breaths. Yes, a lot of people deal with anxiety. Taking calming breaths happens. Negotiate with a toddler. Okay, console said toddler. Yeah, part of being a mother. Proceed to cook with one hand. You made that choice by holding toddler. Ruined dinner. That looks like pancakes, but okay. That looks like today, <laughs> like breakfast. But fair enough. Consider running away. Laugh instead of cry. Once again, guys, this isn't personal. Don't care about the individual. Okay. <clears throat> I, I care about the story right now. Okay. So we're not going to kill her, this woman. I don't know. I don't really care. I don't care about her and her husband like that. But I do want to talk about what is going on when, when women do this. All right. I get on the men a lot. Okay. But I got to get on the women too, baby. Women, I got to ask. I got to say this, man. I just got to do this. Point of information. Are you saying that you cooking dinner, yawning a lot, taking 27 calming breaths, negotiating with the toddler, consoling said toddler, proceeding to cook with one hand, ruin dinner, consider running away, and laugh instead of cry? Has anything to do with this man at the end? What does that got to do with you putting your man on film? Why do you got to put him on here and make it seem like he's doing nothing with his life? You know, people do sit on the couch and look at their phone. People do sit on the couch and look at their phone. It does happen. You're giving us one itty bitty clip of one day and you show this man doing one, one thing. Why couldn't you have shown him going to work? Can we show him at work? Okay, what if he waited? What if he got up at 530 in the morning and he showed a video of you sleeping? And he's like, I mean, dang, I go to work from five to five and look at her in the bed sleeping. You know what I'm saying? It's just like because I get taking care of your kids. I get taking care of making dinner. At the end of the day, that is a part of the marriage. That is a part of life, right? You're only showing this man in a negative light. As if you're saying, what are you trying to say? Once again, tell him, Eric Mays. Point of information. Are you saying the man never works? Point of information. Are you saying the man doesn't do anything? Point of information. Does he mow the lawn? Point of information. I need you to explain to me, does this man only sit on the couch every single day? If so, how's the lights on in the house? If so, what are you cooking on? Is that an oven? How'd you get an oven in the house? Once again, how'd the kid happen? How did the kid even have clothes on his back? If you're telling me this man does nothing, you're a, you're a stay-at-home wife and this man does nothing. So this house is just somehow sustaining itself. Somehow the bills are being paid with nobody working. I understand women, y'all have mental breakdowns. But here's the thing, man. And this is what something y'all got to understand is that men have mental breakdowns too. We just can't show it.
This man may be sitting on the couch looking at his phone because he's trying to figure out, man, damn, I mean, I got to pay these bills next week. I got to make sure I get to work. I got to make sure I got to do everything. Got to make sure that this is taken care of. The water he, the water heater is broken down. The sink is messing up. I'm just, oh, man, I can hear my kid crying, but I'm just trying to get these few minutes to myself so I can think. Right? But that's not what she wants to show. She wants to show you dang near she's pretty much doing everything. She's running the whole house. And so the lights are on and everything, but somehow, somehow, she's cooking on an oven in a house with AC. And the house is sustaining itself. There's nobody working in the house. Come on, baby. I just don't understand. It's 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 this it's this thing of saying, I get marriage is hard, but I just think that sucks about social media sometimes. Is that everybody feels like their life is harder than everybody else's. They feel like, oh, if I put this on film, I'm gonna get all these women being like, Yes, queen. Yes, I my husband would never do that. You know who does that? Me. <laughs> Hold on a second. You don't think I've ever sat on my couch and just sat there and watched TV with my wife cleaned? You think my wife would go out of her way to film me? You know, she wouldn't. My wife knows I'm a workaholic. You know what I'm saying? How many guys... I work a nine to five like you guys work a nine to five. I work I work a nine to five, come home and make these videos. You know, at one point it, when I was doing YouTube, I would wake up. I had to be at work at uh, three in the morning. I would wake up at midnight, research videos, make videos, edit videos, go to work, come home, get right back on YouTube, live stream for what, two to three hours. And then I would get off, spend some time with her. Maybe eat, go back to bed, wake back up at 12 a.m., get back to researching. All I did was work. All I did was make videos. All I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? All I did was do all these things. So you think? So you don't think there was times I was sitting in my room and I wasn't doing anything in particular while she was cleaning? When I was working and my wife wasn't, you don't think I wasn't? You know what I'm saying? When I was going to work every single day and she was just sitting at home. If she started cleaning, do you think she would take pictures of me and be like, oh, I don't even know. That's what I'm saying. It's like men. I don't know why you women just can't give your men some dang praise. What is the point of that? Then divorce the man. If you feel like he ain't even worth, if you feel like he ain't even worth the, the respect of you not putting him on camera to embarrass him, you're goofy. You're goofy. And here's the thing that some people, and I, I'm going to say it every time just to come after people who, who have this argument because I know it is an argument and it's a valid argument to me. She might be trolling. I say it was a valid argument and then I say it like that. She might be trolling. <laughs> who cares? It's still a discussion to be had because we know this is a real discussion that women feel like being a housewife is like slavery. Some women really think being a housewife is just as hard as going to work 12 hours a day on an oil field. Because I know women who had men who work in the oil field all day dirty, right? All day, filthy, sweating, stinking. It's hot. You might be doing a dangerous job. You fall, you're gone. 12 days, every day, two weeks, straight on. Two weeks on, two weeks off, right? And the second they come home and they just sit down and relax, she's like, click. Man, I don't even know, man. It's like he's not even here. Well, you go get an oil field then. You go out there. You go do it. Instead of, instead of being happy for the house that's over, the roof that's over your head that he's working for every day when he wishes he could be home with his family, and then you go take a picture of him, and you go click him and just put him all over the internet. There's just women who do this. It's no, some men, they can't work hard enough because women will see housework as hard. And I know what y'all thinking. Why do I think really housework isn't hard? I'm gonna, I had this discussion with a woman back in the day. This is before my wife. But we had a discussion. Actually, no. I think I had this discussion with my wife before we were married. <clears throat> I said, I've been living by myself for... Let's see. At this point, I've been living by myself for 11 years. Been on my own. I have to do housework. Guess what? When I go to work and come home from my 9 to 5, who has to wash the dishes? Me. Who has to wash my clothes? Me. Who has to sweep the house? Me, who had to clean the house? Me. 
And, so, and women get mad that some men don't buy a lot of furniture because they know logically it'll come with more of a mess. Some men have, may have one couch, one TV, and a bed. They're not going to decorate the whole house. That's just not who they are. Some men don't even have that. They'll have a bed and a, and a table chair and a TV, and they're happy. Because they're like, let's work for me. Some men will eat out of one bowl, one plate, one bowl, one cup. They're not going to do all that extra stuff because they already know what it comes with. But women get mad at that. I'm telling you, I, do I think housework can be tough? Yes. But do I think it's to the point where it's like slavery? No. Because I'm sorry to tell you this, and I know this might be hard to hear. Women, if you were not there and that man was living by himself and he had a house and everything without you, he could do that housework without you. He could cook for himself. He would just cook what he likes to eat. He could wash the dishes himself. He would just wash the dishes that's efficient for him. He'd wash his clothes, but he'd do what's efficient for him. Right? I know a lot of men whose houses are clean who are a single man. I know a single man right now. I've hung out with him a few times. His house is spotless. It's so this, this, this notion that if men didn't have women, we just fall apart. I'm sorry. And I'm not trying to make it a woman against man, but men can do stuff without women they can just like a woman can go if a woman was working all day and came home and had to clean the dishes what is she supposed to do not clean the dishes and just let everything fall to fall the rest and never clean the house those are things that are necessary for society to, that's necessary for any human being to do if anybody didn't clean their house every time they came home they'd be a nasty individual right it'd be nasty that's all I'm saying. So this woman complaining this whole time is just dumb because she acting like what she's doing is just complete slavery just because her mental health is struggling with it. And I'm not knocking uh, this woman for that. I'm just saying, women, if you struggle with mental health that bad that you got to make a video about your husband sitting on the couch, you, you need help. You need help. Because he's obviously doing something if the lights are on, if there's an oven that you're cooking on, if you're sitting in your air conditioner house on your mobile phone with your internet able to upload somebody's paying something so leave the men alone i just hate people who do this to people man that's why y'all will never see my wife because she's not a content creator she's not uh she's not a content creator she don't make videos for this man she just wants to live her life in peace you know what i mean same thing for my children I don't put them in here to be like, hey, here's here's my baby boy. Hey, guys. Hey, here's my baby boy. And sometimes he gets on my nerve. I can't stand him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, wah, wah, wah. You know, I just I don't understand why we make people part of our life when they don't they don't ask for this public scrutinization. You know, no one wants to be nobody wants to be scrutinized publicly. I've been doing this for years. So I'm used to people saying what they got to say about me, disagreeing, loving me and all that kind of stuff. I'm here for it, baby. But at the same time, not everybody is. Leave this man alone. God, leave, leave this man alone. Leave the men alone, man. Leave your people out of it. That's it. I'm gone.